In normal state, hemostasis is well regulated with the help of natural coagulants and anticoagulants. Natural coagulants are clotting factors or procoagulants, and natural anticoagulants are protein C, protein S, and antithrombin. If this balance is disturbed, it can lead to abnormal response or even diseases. Say if coagulation exceeds its limit, it can cause thrombosis. To counteract this, we administer synthetic anticoagulants. If coagulation decreases, it may lead to bleeding. So you can administer synthetic coagulants to balance anticoagulants. All in all, you must keep a good balance whether you are administering coagulants or anticoagulants. If you fail to do so, it may lead to poor efficacy of the drug. Now, keep this point in your mind because it has particularly important role in dose adjustments of anticoagulants. Vitamin K antagonists belong to the class of synthetic anticoagulants. Let me introduce you to the vitamin K antagonist properly. Look at this word, vitamin K antagonist. You know vitamin is an organic molecule that is important part of micronutrition. And this K is taken from a German word that means coagulation. So we can say that this vitamin K is responsible for coagulation. What about antagonist? A chemical that acts within the body to reduce the physiological activity of another chemical substance. So vitamin K antagonists are the molecules, or if I be more precise, these are the drugs that oppose the blood coagulation caused by vitamin K. Can I say they are anticoagulants? Yes, I can say that. Just like we call protein C and protein S as the physiological anticoagulants, we call the vitamin K antagonists as the synthetic anticoagulants. Structurally, they are common in derivatives and are like the structure of vitamin K. Hence, they act as a false vitamin K. Now, there are several drugs in this class. Warfarin, fenprocomin, acinocomerol, dicomerol, phenendione, ethylbiscom acetate, and chlorindione. Among all, warfarin is the one that leads the group and mostly used. In the next section, we will study how all these drugs prevent coagulation. So let's move ahead.